It was a moment millions of Indonesians had prayed for. On national television, the president, whose autocratic and corrupt rule had provoked a national uprising, announced his own demise. I have decided to resign my position as president of Indonesia. The pressure had become irresistible and the reaction was tumultuous. There was jubilation among the students occupying parliament, an unrestrained outpouring of joy. The people had prevailed. There are wild celebrations here, and already the call for the president to go has been replaced with demands that he be prosecuted. While at the palace, the ex-president immediately moved aside for the swearing-in of his replacement, his deputy, B.J. Habibi. He's a Suharto protege without broad support and with dubious reformist credentials. But he was immediately backed by the head of the army. That didn't dampen the spirits at Parliament or across the nation. But for many, the removal of Suharto is only the first step. And after, after the election, we can choose the new president. But for temporary, I'm happy. So. What is the difference between Habibi and Suharto? What's the difference? How could you say like that? You know, that no student, no student say Habibi for the president. While Indonesia's foremost opposition leader was more cautious. If the new cabinet consists of corrupt people, if the new cabinet stinks with nepotism, I will not endorse Mr. Habibi's government. Among those who've suffered most at the hands of the Suharto regime, there was skepticism. Pramodia Anantator is one of Asia's greatest living writers, but all his books, 30 in total, have been banned in Indonesia. He was a political prisoner for 14 years, and since 1980, he's been under virtual house arrest. Suharto has many tricks up his sleeve. He may be stepping down, but his people will run the country the same way. His resignation means nothing. But it's unlikely the tens of thousands who celebrated in cities across the nation today would tolerate merely cosmetic change. With the economy in freefall and the continuing threat of unrest, much is at stake. With that in mind, President Habibi went on national television this evening to appeal for support. He gave no date for elections, but he claimed his would be a clean government, free from corruption, collusion and nepotism. Precisely the features of the Suharto regime, in which Habibi played a central role. The ex-president left the palace today with his eldest daughter, one of several offspring who've enriched themselves during their father's reign. The students, continuing their festive occupation of Parliament tonight, are demanding Suharto family and cronies be held to account. It's a call that's likely to grow, and one the new president will ignore at his peril. Ian Williams, Channel 4 News, Jakarta.